This is our shed work. Um, one drill I use is just kind of a, a power hand, trail hand, regaining leverage uh, when we're taking on a block, taking the leverage we need on the would-be blocker. Um, sometimes we do this drill from a fit where we're already engaged. Uh, sometimes we do it from off. Sometimes, as you'll see, we do it in the chute. Um, again, here we're looking for elbows in, thumbs up. Uh, trying to you know, get great hand placement. Right now there's no, there's no combat from the would-be blocker. Uh, we can add combat for him. But uh, this is a pretty good look here at low to high. I don't like the false step with his left foot. We like our weight on our, the balls of our feet here and we, you know, we put the weight on that up foot and step with our right. And uh, right hand's our power hand, left hand's our trail hand. And uh, we're looking to to gain leverage on our blocker. It's I tell these guys it's a um, you know it's power hand power hip. You know it's not just your upper body that's going to win the win the block and uh, get the escape. It's your hip. It's your power clean. It's coming out of that good football position that uh, is going to allow you to you know to win the battle. Uh, again, we're we're not very good with our footwork here, but this is pretty good punch. Good hand placement, low to high, elbows in, thumbs up. You know, you can see he's working the right hand. You can see the leverage, uh, you know, on the would-be blocker here that uh, that he's taking. So we're grabbing cloth with that trail hand, and we're pulling as we're pushing with our power hand. Here's a left hand power hand. You know, his hand placement's not as good. You can see he's up high. He's on the shoulder pads. Uh, he's not going to have the leverage or the strength uh, that he needs, as well as he's opening up, you know, his pad level for that offensive lineman to get underneath him. Um, you know, that's that's not what we're looking for. Left hand. I like normally for these guys to start this drill. If your left hand's your power hand, that's the leg that's back. And um, here we're going all the way through with the escape rip, trying to get our hip through, get our hip clear. And we bring that rip and run it to the sky so that um, you know, we, can, we can get our hip through and be a football player. We, um, you know, we, again, it's just a progression. Again, you can go from a fit where the guys are already fit up like this and uh, you know, with a good, good football position, knee bend, and, and they can go through their separation and escape there, uh, or you can back them off like we're doing in this drill and make them work for their fit. Um, you know, so there's a variety of things partnered up, uh, just working leverage, hand placement, leverage, you know, power hand, power hip, you know, to your play side, and uh, trail hand grabbing cloth, uh, you know, again, low pad level, pads rolled over all those things that are required to uh, defeat the block. Again, feet, hands, pads roll over, eyes go from your flow to your threat. We need a little more pop here. He's, he's laying his hands on that bag. Unlike the last linebacker who was shocking the shield, this guy's just kind of laying him on there and getting a bench press. His pad level's pretty good. Um, like to see a little more physical rip and getting that hip through. Good job here. You can see the sh the, how he's shooting his hands. You know, we got to be physical. We got to be sharp. Pads are rolled over. We come low to high. Uh, make sure that your guy holding the bag has a decent knee bend himself to give him a nice low target. And uh, we're going to be underneath those blockers. Left hand's our power hand here. Right hand's our trail hand. And uh, you know, then work for your escape. Downhill, shoot the hands. Nice body lean here. Hard, hard to block a guy that's working like this. You know, with his feet moving, his hands moving, his pads rolled over. He comes aggressive, low to high. It's just, it's just so much harder to block a guy when he's playing from good football position and has good uh, violent hands here. This is our six-point explosion drill. Again, I think it's 
early in the progression. Uh, I do it during camp. It's, you know, it's designed to to get those guys coming out of their hips. And uh, you know, I think this is something you can improve on. We go from a six point, the eyes on the target. We want to shoot those hands low to high, get a wrap on the bag, which we're not doing here. And, uh, and then we reset and we come right back for another one. Get their eyes up, get them looking at the target, get them rolling the hips, bringing the hands, and uh, coming out of that, uh, you know, coming out of that knee bend, coming out of them hips. That's what we're looking for. Um, I want to roll through the hips. You know, the guy's got to give them a little resistance, but not a whole lot at first. Uh, just looking for the, you know, for them to kind of demonstrate the freedom to let, kind of let them hips, hips go. And then you're looking for a violent wrap on the bag or physical wrap on the bag. Here's pretty good, uh, you know, kind of what you want to see when somebody's cutting loose on a blocker or a ball carrier, launching themselves but rolling them hips and pretty good look there. Like to see them squeeze the bag. They shouldn't lose the bag. You ought to be squeezing and wrapping. And this is our six-point explosion drill, which everybody's pretty familiar with, but. I really believe in it just as much as we work about and talk about our football position and uh, coming out of that lower body when we're shedding and tackling and changing direction. I think it's an important component of, uh, of what we do. And uh, you know, you'll see, you can see there some guys really struggle with it. Um, you know, if some guys can, can do these things naturally, some guys can, can uh, improve on them, and some guys never will. But, uh, you know, there the guy on the right's doing a pretty nice job, and the guy on the left is uh, struggling, getting to drill a little bit. He's, you know, he's not, he, he's reaching and grabbing the bag instead of shooting his hands, and uh, he's not coming out of those hips and those quads. He's, he's using his feet, and that's not what we want. Pretty good look at the top. You know, you can see the hip roll. Uh, he's got the arms around the bag. Uh, that's a pretty good look at what I want out of the drill. Continuing with our explosion work, all this is right here is taking our six point to a two point. And, um, you know, this can be a tackling drill where you're looking for a wrap. It can be a shed drill where you're escaping, you know, off the right side or the left side. But what I'm looking for is the hip roll, the great football base that with the knees bent, the ankles bent, coming out of the lower body. Um, there we go. There's, you can see the hip roll. He's low to high, he's shooting the hands low to high, but uh, you can see he's popping them hips. There's obviously more resistance here with the, with the popsicle than, uh, than the bags. That's a pretty good look, but you know, just getting them fairly close where they can wrap and run and roll the hips. Eyes on their target right down the middle. Again, just taking the next step with our six point, from our six point explosion and getting, uh, getting them to do it from uh, a stand-up. You know, try and get their feet hot and uh, getting wrapping and, and running right here, rolling out of the hips. It's a pretty good drill, uh, you know, just to ID who has pop and who doesn't and to, uh, you know, get them better at doing that. Hey, this is our, uh, continuing on our, on our explosion work. Uh, the only difference now, you know, attacking this one-man sled is we give him a running start. So I ask him to gather and sink and, uh, and then attack. So uh, we got to size it up a little bit better rather than starting from uh, a near fit or stationary position. We're going to hit it on the run. And uh, as you can see here, you know, looking for the same thing, rolling the hips, wrapping low to high squeezing the bag, running the feet, you know, eyes right down the center of your target, you know, wrap and run. And, um, you know, just another way to, um, you, know, I, you know, look at who's being explosive, who can bend and play low and come out of them hips and use that power clean. Uh, I think it, you know, it's a way for us to practice and, and try and get what we want out of a wrap and how physical we want that to be. Um, you know, it's pretty good. You can make it as fast tempo as you want it to be. Uh, but again, it's a progression from the six point, you know, to the stationary attack, 
to the uh, you know to the running attack. So all these explosion drills, you know, help you ID who's going to be uh, who's going to throw their body around a little bit and come out of their hips and and uh, be be pretty physical on uh, blockers and ball carriers. Again, when I do these drills, you know, it, you can simulate the wrap or you can sh simulate a shed because to me it's the same. Everything with the lower body and the body position, it's all the same, whether you're shedding a block um, or making a tackle.